go through the answers quickly. We've got cash on hand. We're going to debit it for $1,953. We're going to debit credit cards receivable at two twelve. Credit debit accounts receivable for twenty-one thousand four twenty-five, and debit contracts in transit for four thousand three thirty-two. The total of the left-hand side debits in this journal then is twenty-seven thousand nine twenty-two. On the right-hand side. We're going to credit sales tax payable of $1,582. We're going to credit furniture sales of $4,640. Now, let me go through all the sales, and then we'll come back to the cost. We're going to credit appliance sales for $2,800. Credit television sales for $1,200. Credit carpet sales for $13,525. And credit delivery and installation for $4,175. The credits beginning with sales tax and working across then of the right hand side is also 27,922 in total what are we going to do with these furniture cost columns now and appliance costs and carpet costs and television costs what are we going to do with those anybody recall we're going to put them in the general ledger as both a debit and a credit we're going to credit furniture inventory $2,770 and debit furniture cost of sales $2,770. So each of those cost columns will be both credited and debited to the general ledger. Okay? So each of them is self-balancing. Unlike the others where we have a debit on the left and a credit on the right, here we have one column that will be both debited and credited. Now, once again, could we have written the number twice? Could we have written the number twice on both sides? Okay. We could have written it both, but, we, but instead, to save time, we are going to write, we're going to write it once and then just post it twice. Okay. Does everyone see, see what I'm saying here? And we're going to get to the general ledger in a few minutes, but I want you to understand that. So we're going to do that with the furniture costs. We're going to do it with the appliance costs and the television costs and the carpet costs. We're going to enter it both the credit and the debit in when we get to that point. 